everybody, this is Tembiot and I'm back with another third party Transformers video review. And this time I have Fans Project's Retro Future Glacial Lords Mega Zero. <laughs> the whole thing as to why it looks like it's a, a Korean knockoff is uh, originally whenever uh, Fans Project created this, they said that the the container that was actually holding the, the figures were lost overboard when they were uh, getting them off the boat. And so they came up with this whole story. They were like, well, we don't know how long it's going to take for us to remake them. And then they, they came up and they were like, hey, we, uh, we recently found a, a warehouse find. And it was this, this dingy, rundown warehouse that looked like it hadn't had anybody in it for like 20 years. And there was this crate in the middle of this warehouse. And they opened it up and there were these, um, these Korean versions of Mega Zero. So that was their whole their whole ploy on it. Uh, I, I think it's kind of funny uh, with the the whole uh, Korean versions of, of of different transformers and different things, especially like with uh, car robots and stuff. They did a lot of that with car robots where they had Korean versions of them. It's a nice little funny joke, kind of kind of throwback to that those kind of things. So uh, we take a look at the at the packaging, and here in the front you can see we have that G1 stylized wonky art looking stuff. And then the figure right here in um, in this window inside the packaging. And then you have, I only assume that it says Fans Projects, uh, Retro Future, Glacial Lords, uh, Mega Zero. I have no idea what it says. Uh, we're going to look at the side and the packaging is a little different in the order. And it shows uh, Beast Mode and then it shows where it connects to the arm. And then you have here and you have the the triangle thing where it shows all three modes and it actually has the picture right here crazy G1 kinda art with a lot of their uh, figures that have been released and so you have you know you can see that you have these these different things on here you have the um, this one just came out and then you have yeah and it's um, it's it, it's crazy. I, I like being able to look at this and see, you know, some of their older releases, and then see them in in a G1 stylized epic battle kind of thing. So, and then you you come here and you see that you know you have the figure and him in his robot mode and in his uh, beast mode. Then you come to the top and you see like a, a cartoon version of Glacial Lord all combined together, which is which is really nice. I, I like that picture, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And then you look on the bottom and it actually doesn't have the warning labels on it. It's really, really weird. So um, the warning labels are, are here on the back. So that's... So we'll go ahead and open this up. So it's in the styrofoam packaging again, and then you have it's the the instructions didn't change. They didn't change the instructions any. Oh man, I didn't flip that around. Um, they still look normal. They don't look like a, a Korean version of the instructions. But the stickers, none of the stickers were actually applied on this. But they do have the instructions on how to how to and where to apply the the stickers. Uh, built into the sheet so you know and they actually are in the Korean stuff so it's 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 crazy but they didn't change the they didn't change the actual instructions see they look exactly the same they look normal so looking at the figure you have the figure right here and you know looking at the way that no, I'll, I'll get into it just a little bit let me pull this guy out um, again, you have the crazy rainbow effect Korean thing, and again, but let's pull the uh, little robot out. And once again, I did cut it around the edge to be able to remove him because there's no other way to do it without totally tearing it up and, and destroying it. So, so you have. Uh, I assume it's supposed to be some kind of reindeer or something. I can't I can't read the instructions or I can't read the I guess it would say on the instructions. No, I haven't looked at the instructions. 
Huh, so they do have individual names. I'll have to look at those later. But yeah, the the figure is called Mega Zero, and then the uh, the beast is called Mega Zero. So that's I didn't recognize that earlier. I just kind of looked at the instructions on how to how to do it, and then just kind of went for it. So. Um, No, but it doesn't show. It doesn't show uh, or tell what it is in in English. So, so you have um, uh, Mega Zero and Mega Zero, um, and you can see none of the uh, none of the stickers were applied at all to this thing. Uh, if you want to look at the articulation, he has nothing with the legs. Uh, you can make the head look up like that, or you can make it look up like that but you can't make it you can make it look down a little bit just a little bit um, you know how in the other videos I was saying that it was these figures were you know stylized in a G1 type of how do I want to say it a G1 type of um, engineering well this one kind of broke the rules they ended up making these horns right here with ball joints in them so that goes a little bit against um, I, I don't remember any G1 figures ever having any ball joints but I can kind of understand why they did that uh, and you'll kind of see on, on the transformation but you can take this piece right here flip it down and you can take this figure and you can plop him in there but he goes down in there really tight and then it's really hard to pull out so I'll just let you imagine what it looks like with him in there riding it. Um, basically, it'll kind of look like. I forgot how how tight this one was. Feels like you're gonna break them whenever you do it. Um, kind of like that, somewhat, but not really. Um, so um, we'll take this and go ahead and flip that up just to get it ready for transformation. And then we're going to take these legs, flip these legs up, and then flip these legs up, and that flips the arms up. And you take the head, come on, which way do you go? Uh, like that, pop the head off, flip that back, and then slide it. Does this actually slide down? I'm trying to remember. No, it slides up, so yeah, just leave it like that. Um, then you extend the legs, and you want to take a little Mega Zero like that. You want to take this, flip this up, and then you take these pieces, and you want to fold them together like that. And then there's tabs and holes, or just a tab and a hole, and interlocking in it. It makes kind of a sword with a wonky little headpiece sticking off. Um, so, you know, you can't really hold it like that. You can kind of hold it like that, but mainly it has to be held like that. So, um, so that's what this one looks like in his in his robot mode. So, um. I, when I first saw that there was this was going to be a sword, I was like, oh, sweet, it's a sword. And then I saw the, the front of the head, and I was like, hmm. So, um, you know, I wish they would have made it kind of like this, and then made the cuts for um, the blade up here. I think it would have looked a little bit better like that. Um, but, you know, if they were going to go ahead and cheat on the engineering a little bit, you know, they should have made it a little bit better. But, oh, well, that's, that's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to pick it too much. Um, in terms of packaging, this is the one that I like the best just because of the whole craziness with with it being a, a Korean version of it. I, uh, I, I do enjoy that box the most. So... Um, so that's going to go ahead and do it for uh, for this review. Fans Projects Future Retro Glacial Lord uh, Mega Zero. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Go ahead and subscribe while you're doing that. Uh, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you next time.